Please. Not so much a good morning, because what we've seen yesterday has horrified all of us. Uh, I can say this as a politician, but first of all, as a mother. Uh, and the images we've seen yesterday uh, from Syria remind us all that uh, here we have a responsibility to unite uh, for real with a serious engagement, the international community, the regional players, but also the Syrian parties to make peace. Yesterday, I started uh, these two days of conference uh, by meeting the Syrian civil society, women and men, that put all their energy and sometimes their lives in uh, helping Syrians in these six, seven years of war. And they all tell me one thing. We're different. We come from different backgrounds. We have different political ideas, but we want peace. Enough. Enough of violence, enough of war. Syrians want peace and Syrians want to reconstruct their country in democracy and in freedom. And I think that today what we're doing is even more relevant, is even more important, is even more urgent. First of all, to give help to the Syrians inside Syria that are still alive, children, women, health, education, living basic conditions. This comes from here. Millions, billions of euros that I hope can be repledged and committed today to help the Syrians live, first of all, in Syria, and in the region, Lebanon, Jordan, Iraq, the wider region. Second, to give a push, a strong push, to the political talks in Geneva. We will have the UN Secretary General opening with me the conference today. We will have Staffan de Mistura. We have to unite the international community behind these negotiations and give them a serious push, because only the Syrian parties can agree a political solution can put an end to this war. Third, we can start preparing the post-conflict. I know it sounds surreal, especially today, but if you want peace, you have to start building peace and the conditions for peace. And we will also look at the conditions under which the international community can contribute to reconstruct the country.